Hi and welcome to my second screencast. This time I will show you how I prepare, release and promote my technical blog posts. Maybe you were wondering about starting your own technical blog, but were worried that your maybe your written English is not good enough or that if you write something no one will read it. So I will show you how to uh, stop worrying about those issues because uh, they are not real problems. So let's get started. I use Jekyll static site generator to run my blog. And I just prepared a new blog post. It's not, it's not yet released. Let's see how it looks. It's a blog post about how to host a static website on Doku, uh, basically describing, describing the technical side of how my blog works. Um, and if we go to my live website, we can see that this blog post is not yet released. So I will show you how I usually do it. My blog posts are written in the Markdown language and Jekyll takes care of uh, rendering them. So I can see a couple of problems here. The date is incorrect, so let's fix it. And I forgot to add a summary. I need to remove me from the summary because it doesn't work now. Wait a minute for it to refresh. And as you can see, the summary is here. That's the blog post itself. Okay, so um, as you can probably hear from my accent, I'm not a native English speaker nor a writer. And when I started blogging, I was really worried about uh, if my written English is good enough. So a couple of my first blog posts were corrected using paid services. I was basically sending it to some, to some native speaker to correct it. Uh, but then I discovered Grammarly. It's a tool which lets you correct your written English for free. It gives you a lot of value for free, even if you don't pay for the pro version. Let's see how it looks. I use native uh, macOS editor to correct my writing. And as you can see, I've already corrected a lot of text so far. So let's add a new one. So what I usually do with new blog posts, which are not corrected yet. I just copy their contents and paste them into the editor. Uh, I usually start from removing all the code samples because they confuse Grammarly. Okay, let's correct the errors one by one now. As we can see, the Grammarly con co detected 28 critical errors. These are the ones that you can correct in the free version. If you want to check some advanced spelling, um, you have to purchase a pro version. So a little disclaimer here, I participate in Grammarly affiliate program. So if you download and purchase it by using the link uh, I add in the show notes, I will get some money, but I think that even the free version has a lot of value and I feel comfortable comfortable recommending it to, to my readers. Okay, let's move on to correcting the post now. As you can see, it's missing a comma here. So it's nice that you can just click on the error it finds and it automatically shows you what, what's wrong and you can post it, correct it. So I cannot see any big errors anymore. I think the English is good enough now so that I can release the, release the blog post. So let's proceed. I need to make a comment. And to release it, we need to check out to, uh, to master branch and to base it on develop. Uh, I use a simple bash script to release. It's integrated with Doku. 
it basically builds an up-to-date version of the site into the docs directory. It adds it to, to commit, makes a new commit, pushes it to origin and then pushes it to docker of the master. So let's run it now. It takes around one minute to release the new version. So in the meantime, I will show you what I do next when I when I release a new blog post. Mm, here I prepared kind of a checklist of things I will show you what I do. Uh, first thing I do after releasing a new blog post is double checking that so-called social meta tags are correct. Uh, by social meta attacks, I mean that uh, social platforms have a special way of parsing websites to present them in an attractive way to on their platforms. So you need to add special meta tags for your website to display nicely. You can read about meta tags in one of my previous po blog posts. I will link to in the show notes. Or if you would like to just have something uh, ready and working. You can just check out my Jekyll SEO template. You can download it for free. And it includes a bunch of SEO related optimizations. One of them is adding meta tags, which allow your content to display like this in a very nice way. So let's see, the deploying is already finishing. We should be able to see a new blog post on my website now. Um, let's see. So yeah, the new blog post is here. It looks all, all right, so let's check the meta tags now. And Twitter and Facebook uh, support two different standards of social meta tags, so you always have to use those two tools to validate them. I will link to them in the show notes. Uh, so as you can see, the Twitter meta tags looks okay. They display a big picture. They display a sub description and title of the page correctly. So let's see Facebook now. There's some caching issue here, but... Yeah, it looks also correct, so I think we are good with starting to promote our blog post. Next thing on my checklist is submitting the newly published blog post to my uh, Google uh, Google Search Console. It speed up, speeds up uh, how lo how fast Google starts indexing my website. So you have this crawl uh, menu here. You need to press fetch as Google. and paste the link to your to your newly released blog post. Then you have to press fetch and render. Wait just a minute. And when it's done, you need to request indexing. And it should appear in Google in just a couple of minutes. Next thing I do is I submit the AMP version of my website. AMP is a standard for mobile websites um, created by Google. You can read more about it in one of my previous blog posts or just download my template because it supports AMP websites out of the box. So let's submit our new AMP website. It uses an AMP namespace. I need to help Google train AI before I do it. It says that it's analyzing the website and as you can see, well, you cannot understand it because it's in Polish, but it says that the AMP website is correct so we can submit it. AMP standard has its uh, pros and cons, but uh, from what I see in my Google Analytics stats is that it uh, directs additional traffic uh, to my website. So I'm okay with supporting it. I submitted it to Google and it should be indexed in a couple of minutes. So next thing I do is I proceed to promoting my 
and blog post on various platforms. Uh, some time ago, I assembled a list of places where you can promote a programming blog post. I will link to it in the show notes, but you can find it on my on my blog on programming blog post promotion. Uh, so basically, it's a list of places where you can submit your technical posts divided by categories. So let me show you how I usually do it. I start with Reddit because I think it's a very good place to uh, to promote posts connected somehow with Ruby and it's about hosting static websites uh, about Jekyll also so I think Reddit uh, subreddit is a good place to submit it so it, it's submitted I would also submit it to webdev subreddit. I usually try to stick with a few uh, few subreddits not to spam too much but I think that promoting your blog on two subreddit it, it's good practice. Okay, uh, next place I usually promote my blog posting is also a Twitter and currently I have around 20, 230 followers but I always use hashtag hashtags which help me gain some, uh, some automatic retweets and more more eyeballs so I can write like something now new blog post just went live learn how to host a static site with let's give it a docu hashtag and cloud there CDN. Yeah, I use Jekyll RB, so let's give it Jekyll RB hashtag and Ruby hashtag. I think it's okay. I don't like to use. Too much hashtags. New blog post just went live. Learn how to host a static site with Doku and Cloudflare CDN. Yeah, also maybe Nginx. So it was tweeted as, and as you can see, thanks to uh, social meta tags, it displays very nicely. It's a big picture. It attracts attention. Hopefully. The next place I promote my blog post in are Hacker News. Uh, it's difficult to uh, get many upvotes on Hacker, Hacker News because there are many, so many submissions, but I always see some traffic from there, so it's always worth giving it a try. So it's just title and Okay, that's here. Next place is Indie Hackers. Um, it's not about strictly technical blog posts, but I don't know, I always post there. Always see some traffic from there, so why not? And as you can see also, thanks to meta tags, it displays nice thumbnail of my main picture here. Next place is uh, Ruby Flow. It's connected to Ruby because it uses Jekyll, so let's submit it there as well. Ruby Flow wants you to write something about your pod submission, so I always just paste the summary and then add, add the link. It's there, and there's also one more place I forgot to add. It's called uh, uh, something changed here, but no, it, it works. So, yeah, Ruby Stream uh, doesn't display submissions by default, they need to be verified. 
but so far I had uh, uh, most of my submissions were ver verified positively by them, so I will submit there as well. I want my name and my email. I need to train AI again, storefront. Yeah. Okay, it's there, let's see. I also, yeah, so these are the places I usually promote my posts in. Uh, let's see if some traffic is arriving already. Start building up in a moment. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a bunch of up notes. Mm, so yeah, that's what I usually do promoting my posts. Uh, later on, I will also send notification to my mailing list. But when you start blogging, you don't have a mailing list. Yeah, but even if it's your first post, you can reproduce the steps I just show you to gain some initial traffic. And if the content is good enough, it's quite probable that. Uh, that it will get upvoted and attract more attention. Um, let me show you one, one more thing. Uh, as you've seen, I've submitted the page to Google just, just a moment ago, and let's see if it has already been indexed. So I was targeting keywords like Doku static website. Uh, And as you can see, although it was submitted just a, just a moment ago, it's already displaying in Google on the first uh, page of results. From what I've seen, uh, it's that new content gets an initial bust from Google. It's not something I verified, like technically, but what I see submitting my posts. But it's not something you can count on just after you start writing. It's after some time that you get uh, some backlinks, some kind of so-called CEO authority that your uh, posts are start appearing high in Google search results, but it's definitely definitely something you should start working on from the start of your blog post. Uh, you can uh, you should uh, gain some CEO knowledge about how to position your website so that they are displaying nicely and so that you can gain some organic traffic. Um, also, one last time today, I will recommend you my template because it improves it, it includes quite a lot of optimizations focused on SEO so that you can get organic traffic it helps you position nicely in Google search results and you can download it from free on for free from this from this link mm, so that's it for me today uh, thanks for watching uh, let me know if you have some comments or some questions if you would like start blogging but are not sure about some specific yet. Yet, I'm always open to um, to answering some questions. So yeah, thanks for watching it to the end, and see you next time.